All right, I've got a couple of quick updates for Prop EOS 4.3. So these will be coming um, in the next version of the beta. Um, so the first thing is, um, over the weekend, I had done a quick lightsaber duel with my son. Um, and in doing it, uh, I was, we were using the, localized, the new responsive localized lockup. And uh, the lockup motion wasn't ideal. So when, you, when I've been testing everything, it's been by myself. And you don't quite get the, the feel of it. So in using it and doing some choreography, I realized that the, the motion of the lockup wasn't as good as it could have been. Um, so we're doing a change for 4.3. There's going to be a syntax change on the responsive styles in order to enable this. Uh, what that means, just like when we went from 4.1 to 4.2, um, because of the syntax change, if you have the older style code from 4.2, when 4.3 comes out, you'll need new code or you'll need to update the syntax. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's necessary to make this new uh, capability happen. Um, so it, it, it's going to be coming. Um, the library will get updated when 4.3 gets uh, rolled to beta. Um, but basically, when we do lockup, the old way is um, it would move. So as you move the blade up, it would slide down. As you move the blade down, it would slide towards the middle. But if you went below horizontal, what was happening is it was moving towards the end of the blade. And in actually doing a little bit of you know amateur choreography, you never really cross up, lock up that high on the blade. Um, so now the new changes to the code um, actually give a secondary control uh, for the responsive. So as you move back down, it gives that uh, lockup section more movement towards the hilt again, um, which is a lot more realistic in terms of motion. Um, so I'm going to show it real quick, and then I'll do a quick demo just so you can see. Um, but So this is going to be the new responsive lockup. Um, so it still reacts to the blade angle, but now it's going to be a little more realistic in movement. So, so you get that lock up moving towards you, moving away, but then if you start going below, it'll actually work its way back up to the hilt, which is just a more natural position. Um, now, all the parameters are controlled, so within the, uh, the actual style, you can change your bottom and your top still, um, but now this second control that's going to be added is what allows it to reverse back up the blade. Um, so I'm going to do a quick demo with my son. Um, this isn't choreographed, it's just going to be a super quick demo, but just to kind of show how when you're actually dueling with somebody, um, it, it, it feels more natural, so. Right. So that's, it's a, it's a lot more natural um, in terms of the movement of it. So this will be coming in 4.3. Um, the library styles will all have it. Um, and then in addition, um, yesterday I showed a few um, of the new multi-blast, so I'm going to show that as well. So I've got the multi-blast tweaked out um, and ready to go. Um, so it is actually going to be in a prop file. So what I'm doing with this is I'm, uh, I'm going to have, there's going to be a new FET, 20, FET 263 prop file for buttons. Um, it's basically, it's the default saber prop buttons, but I'm going to have the new multi-blast control, plus um, in talking to SA22C, he gave me the green light, I'm going to put his volume menu on, um, so um, the, the, there'll be a new button set up um, for your uh, prop file, so you can use the FET263 if you like what's happening here. Um, also in talking to SA22C, um, I believe he's going to add multi-blast to his, so uh, if you're using his button configuration, you'll also be able to get the multi-blast. And if you want to make your own prop file, you can always take that code. Um, so with the uh, new style code, or, or I'm sorry, with the new prop code, that's what enables multi-blast. So multi-blast, if you didn't see yesterday's video, is normally you have, every time you hit blast, you're going to, uh, box button, you're going to get blast. Now you can actually go into blast mode. Now I've changed it. Yesterday I was using beeps. Today... Uh, when you go first go into blast mode, you're going to get a blast sound, but you're not going to get a blast visual, and that's the visual. That's going to be the cue that you're in the multi-blast mode. Um, so you'll see it's a long press release. So I had a blast, but no effect. To me, I'm kind of saying they missed. Um, but then now, every time you swing your blade, you'll get the blast effect. And then to get out of it, you're going to do a long hold on aux. And you'll get a real blast this time because I wanted to be able to finish it out with a blast. Um, and then, so now, oops, no, that went into it.
Oh no, it's, I'm sorry. It's a quick click on aux, I forgot. When you quick click aux, it will go out of uh, multi-blast. If you hold aux, it goes right back into it. Um, so that's the multi-blast. And then lastly, um, since this will be a new prop file, I'll show this and it's going to be a little dark in here. Um, but uh, a, with the blade off, a long hold on aux will go into the volume menu. Uh, this is SA22C's volume menu. But um, I've added, so if you have a cut, if you have the CC begin, CC end files, it'll play them. Otherwise it'll use beeps. So I have them. So, so that's my begin sound. So you can use a sound font. If the sound font isn't present, it's going to just do a beep. And then you can go down with it. And then a long press on aux again will be the CC end. Mine is the same. And then you'll have that new volume. Um, and that was going down, it goes by 10% 10, 10 increments. And then we'll go into it again. And the power button each click will go up in volume. And that was my max volume. So then I'll uh, hold aux. Oops, I hit. And then that's your volume. So uh, the, the new uh, button configuration uh, for FET263 will have multi-blast. And it will have a volume menu, the volume menu being from SA22C's file. So you can use, if you prefer the default buttons, but you wanted these new features, there'll be that new prop file coming. Um, and I'm going to submit everything to Frederick uh, for 4.3. So uh, he has some stuff he's working on. When that's ready, this will roll out. So this will be coming. I'm sure I'll, you know, we'll update everybody. Um, but more to come. Uh, hope you enjoy.